So yesterday we got two new news articles. This one is the summary of this one. This one was a Q&A, a full Q&A. Lost Ark's first year saw growing pains. Amazon has big plans. And this one was the summary of that. Lost Ark year two aims to greatly reduce the gap between regions. So both of these were written by Ken. He's the interviewer. And they were interviewing Suman Park, if I pronounce that correct. Who is this guy? Who is this individual? He is the franchise leader at AGS. He's a big boy over there. All right. Now, have we seen him before? Yes, we have in this image right here. But we have also seen him last year in another news article that was written a, a month after Lost Ark release. Now, I went through this article just to see like oh is this guy just some like you know big shot comes in takes some heat you know gets out you know goes about his life no i feel like he does there's a, f a fair few of his answers all held merit until today so i feel like this guy is to be trusted he's not some random person that barely knows anything about the game no i feel like he does work in close relation to to everything that's been going on so i was having a hard time deciding whether i wanted to do this in a way where I go through the summary and then go through the article, or do I go through the article altogether? Do I put in my personal in, uh, input in between? So I think what I'm going to be doing with this one is I'm just going to flat out just give you guys like a summary of the summary and the summary of the Q&A, because a few things were left unmentioned. And then at the very end, I'm going to put in my personal input as I go over the full Q&A. So the summary of the summary is we should be expecting uh, this gap between our release and the Korean release to be faster than players expect. So it's some pretty big words. I'm going to keep a hopium counter somewhere here or over there, maybe. And <clears throat> that was an instant shot of hopium. Okay. That's huge. Okay. After the first release of in the West, we feel great about differences between Korean and Western versions. People will agree and disagree with this. I agree with this. And he admits catching up with the Korean build is challenging to be realistic and yeah then however we can say that we're planning to greatly reduce the gap he reiterates it the speed of reducing the gap will be faster players expect and this one is really important new classes he specifically mentions classes will be released at a faster pace than that of new continents and legion raids we'll get to that later um and then he mentions this this is really big also the Western release benefited greatly in general from the Korean version in terms of the polish Smilegate put into the game and Lost Ark players in the West benefit from years of refinement and improvement to the content. And then another big shot of opium here is how he mentions the people finding it hard to catch up. And he mentions how there are plans for more improvements in this regard, continuously discussing this with Smilegate and we'll have an announcement soon on an update that will allow new and returning players to catch up a bit faster, aside from Power Pass and Hyper Express. So that was the summary of the summary. So where this summary came from is from uh, this full Q&A session. So the first question asked is, after one year of the worldwide release, how does the team feel about the differences between Korean and worldwide versions over the first year? Has been uh, notable changes you were forced to make or areas you felt worldwide release saw benefit from things you learned on the Korean release? And basically, he mentions here that, yeah, we learned from everything from worldwide release. You know, aside from localizing text, there's also adjustments they have to make to make it better suited for Western audience. Changes come in with monetization aspects and some game mechanics. Um, and then he repeats this sentence here. Um, the West benefits from the refinement and improvement of content that they get from Korea. And I'm going to make a keep a note of this sentence here i'm going to make a note at the very end but yeah just keep a note for now is there a drive to bring over new classes to worldwide servers at a faster rate are there plans to push to close that gap to eventual update parity are you happy with the difference in cadence between the versions i'm just gonna say candace candies nope <laughs> Got it! so because we monitor players progression and then he just like what i said from the summary of the summary he basically repeats that yeah they are reducing the gap and we should be faster than what players expect and we should be expecting new classes to be released faster than continents and legion raids and then this part here was omitted from the summary i believe 
there will be an official announcement that sheds more light on this positive news. So now we have two announcements we should be looking forward to. The one for the catch up, which will be reiterated here, and one for these new classes releasing at faster paces. So I'm assuming we'll be getting a roadmap, but again, all my personal input at the end. There have been a number of improvements since release to both general quality of life as well as speeding up the grind to move up end game tiers when improvements is the same prioritizing as year two begins. Are there any particular areas you're hoping to address soon or new ways for players to catch up? And then here he re he well not re-mentions because yeah, he mentions for the first time the uh, catch up update they're gonna put in. And then he re-mentions that they're going to be sharing this news soon, so stay tuned. So Hopium's like really rising, right? Like, oh my god, that tank's almost out. But then the guy was like, hold your horses. <laughs> Further to this, Lost Ark has a real focus on its endgame content. How are you encouraging new players to pick up Lost Ark in its second year? Are there plans for more features like Punica Power Pass, Hyper Express, um, and ways to encourage long-time players to help new players, like how Final Fantasy XIV does? Just super quick personal note here i was so happy to see him ask about final fantasy 14 and hopium levels just crashed super hard because he basically just reiterates what he said here that there are like catch-up mechanics that they're looking at and they're thinking about it and yeah he completely ignored the final Fa fantasy 14 part of the question i'll rant about that later the Witcher crossover was a really fun collaboration. How does the team feel it went? Are you looking to more, do more projects? Any dream crossovers you'd love to see? He basically says it went great. The audience loved it. And I feel like honestly, as a player that saw like, you know, player input, I feel like most people were, if they felt I was average at best. And then he says crossover events are something we will evaluate for the future. So whatever. Lost Stark has suffered quite a few issues in recent months, bugs, exploits, stability issues, server downtime, disconnects, blah blah blah, this goes on, the mistake, the mistakenly banned people later removed, did you learn and will you be able to minimize issues in the future? He has a very general answer here, he's like, yep, many issues were fixed in a couple of days, um, he's definitely trying to save face here, he doesn't want to admit to, you know, Fion Gate or like the disconnect issues that we didn't like fully get a full resolution on that, they just kind of like, put a band-aid of fixing the bot issue and then disconnects were like, you know, part of the good things about banning bots. Um, yeah, he just mentions very quickly, you know, we're learning hiccups and we're learning, we're trying. And then second year, uh, they're going to try to make it as best as they can. Further to this, there's a lot of discussion around compensation, what goes into determining appropriate amount to hand out. So he mentions here how it's a talk between Amazon games and Smilegate, and they bring up proposed compensation and then they talk about it reach a conclusion and that's how they do it it's a collaborative effort the on gate begs to differ but we'll get to that later we've done a lot of work recently to try and combat bot accounts have you seen tangible improvements are you working to improve it for the economy and players experience and again super general answer him saying bots are a big issue, you know, what we do today may not work later, it's an ongoing battle, it's a moving target. He doesn't give any plans, just a very general answer that people always give. So Hopium, probably in the negatives right now, but then he's like, let me give you a last shot of Hopium right now, okay? So what's the one future update the team is most excited for players to see? There's some great content coming into the game, but I want to spoil it for fans. I encourage you to keep an eye on Lost Ark website and social media channels. Well, we already know there's two things to expect. There's two news posts we should be expecting. The first one being this uh, new classes will be released, and the second one being the new catch-up update, whatever it may be, to be alongside Power Pass and Hyper Express. So we know that, and then he just kept this answer pretty general but he's like oh like you know because okay this interview started off really strong right like if we're assuming this is how the interview went chronologically the interview was so strong and then he got into like these bigger questions and all suman park had to say about them were really just general answers so Clearly, this guy knows what he's doing. He only gives answers to stuff he knows essentially close to 100% he can give. 
and anything he doesn't know 100%, like with the bot bandwave, for instance, he could have mentioned. Yeah, we did bot bandwaves and there are more to come, but maybe they weren't in the talk. Maybe they just the bon, bot issue right now in Lost Ark is looking really dire in the background. So he doesn't want to speak uh, out loud about that. So yeah, that was the summary of this one. So editing Senpai here, I was recording stuff to put in my own personal input, but I feel like mm, a little too risque right now because I am a new YouTuber. You probably don't know me and you don't quite care about me. You can already kind of see my personal opinion with the whole hopium copium thing. So I think for now, I'm happy with this being a news review instead of like a Senpai react. Maybe probably later on, hopefully when I get more into... um you know, bigger numbers, bigger views, I start to build up a community. I'll start to put in like, um, I'll put in a different video that has my opinion, like a Senpai Reacts one. Uh, but for now, I'm happy with it just being a news review. But in summary to everything we read, I think honestly, this was a great article to just really hold on to as a community overall. Some great things for us to look forward to, some things that were mm, a little iffy, the bot band waves weren't mentioned, Fion Gate wasn't addressed. You know, they didn't own up to it. The disconnects that lasted for three months, they didn't own up to it. You know, some random issues uh, throughout the game weren't just mentioned or addressed. But overall, we can't take away that this was a net positive of an article. This was something we can all look at and collectively agree. This is great. We have things to really look forward to as a community. And that's all that matters right now. Hopium levels are high. So are Copium levels. But so long as Hopium is up, that's what really matters. Even if the Copium is there, <laughs> you know, matching it, that's okay. You know, beggars can't be choosers. Lost Ark is a great game. It just has a lot of stuff that needs to get ironed out. And it looks like we are on the path to doing that. So yeah, as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was beneficial to you. Hopefully, maybe if you were too lazy to, you know, read the news article or if you didn't even know about it, this video offered some form of information to you and i hope to be seeing you in another video if not maybe my twitch ah. and as always take care and